Hi there and welcome to another video on Guild Wars 2. Today we'll be entering the Fractals of the Mist once again and the Fractal that we got today is the Aquatic Runes. Uh, this Fractal will be uh, mostly underwater so make sure you've got your uh, aquatic weapons equipped and the proper skills to go with it. The first thing you have to do is dive in and head on the water and follow this, uh, this cavern where you will uh, encounter three captured villagers. They will be locked in some cage with uh, the crate defending them. So the thing to do here is to uh, kill the crate and then uh, release each villager. Once you release the three villagers, uh, you will be heading off to the next event where one of the villagers will knock down a door, which was uh, otherwise blocked. And then the, the path will be open to continue this dungeon. But for you, first you have to, uh, to free three of those villagers. So we freed three of them now. and. Uh, the, the important thing here is just to look on your minimap where to go. You already knocked down this door. This one uh, was closed before, so now can, we can swim through it and navigate some narrow uh, passages on the water. But suddenly it goes dark. Um, from here on on, uh, every time you will be in the dark, uh, little creatures will attack you and they can do pretty decent damage so you have to look out for those and uh, stay in the light at all times luckily there are, there are these luminous plants along the way which not only uh, remove the box from you but also show you the way where to go also these lava vents uh, uh, emanate some some light which will uh, yeah block the creatures from attacking you another thing you can do is pick up these luminous plants uh, making them glow for a little bit of time in your hands so you can swim with them making making it a bit easier to cross between uh, places that give light so the the thing here is you go from one place that has light to another place that has light through a bit of darkness and along the way you will be attacked uh, to make sure you get to the next side pick up a plant and, uh, and use it Another, another use of these plants is to revive fallen team members. If you got one, you can uh, use the attack you get to revive a fallen team member. But note though that when you do this, the plants will disappear and you will be in the dark again, making you vulnerable for those little creatures to attack. Uh, the most important thing is just to navigate the path, follow the shiny plants, and you'll get to this area eventually, where there are no more annoying bugs that attack you in the dark but the jellyfish beast this is the final boss and really the only boss in this dungeon it's a jellyfish uh, stay away from these cages uh, that hang in this area because they will be electrocuted uh, as well as the jellyfish making these electric boxes you have to swim out of those as soon as possible because they can do some decent damage along the fight the jellyfish will summon smaller jellyfish so try to not only focus your attack on the main jellyfish but if you are at all able do some aoe damage as well uh, stay keep your main dps focused on the jellyfish but if you've got some aoe just drop it as as, as much as you can to uh, to thin out the numbers of the smaller jellyfish otherwise just stay away from electrified cages and uh, uh, try to yeah Make sure you're at full health because those uh, sometimes it does an attack that uh, destroys your armor as well, making you get heavy damage. Well, after he goes down, there will be a chest spawning uh, on the floor of this area. So he's uh, he's about to die now, now. So there he goes, and just underneath him will be the final chest for this dungeon. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful. And see you next time. Bye.